Hi, good morning, this is Scott and the Scott Man, and we're head out to some of the areas off the beaten path in Michigan. It's what series I like to call Hidden Michigan, where we go to different places where most people, when touring around Michigan, don't usually go to, or they might just drive right on by. So we're here to check out three different communities that are really, really close to the Ohio border, and we're starting off here in Morency. Look okay, here. Pretty much as far south in Michigan as you can go, because I think Morency and Lambertville are like the two southernmost communities in the state of Michigan. Because we're not even a, a mile away from the border with Ohio. So we're going to be checking out Morency, and then we're going to head west over toward the communities of Waldron and Camden, and we'll even finish off the video where three states touch each other or meet up. So that's going to be pretty cool. So we're here in Morency, just. Just, a, just uh, checking out this beautiful little city. It was found back in the mid 1830s when William Sutton founded a sawmill and, uh, and also a tavern. And the community today, it's primarily for agriculture and also some small businesses as well. So let's go check it out. I gotta say, Marinci's pretty nice. A nice little small downtown area. Got different shops and even a few restaurants too. I think I might even have found one I'll go to a little bit for, for lunch. But I'm not ready to get lunch just yet because we're gonna check out a couple other cool sites around Marinci first. We're gonna head over to a beautiful park just, just to the west of downtown. And then we'll, we'll have to see what, <laughs> we'll go have to go check out the border with Ohio since it's really, really close to here. All right, and we come just to the west of downtown Morency, going across the Bean Creek. We make it over to Wakefield Park, and this is the largest park here in Morency. You got a very large playground for the kids. You also got tennis courts, also baseball slash softball diamonds, and also a skate park as well, too. And of course, what's cool too, over at Wakefield Park, you got the beautiful Bean Creek. Go for a little short walk along the creek and but yeah, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, what we'll check out next before we head to lunch, I'm gonna show you the border with Ohio because we are that close. We have to. All right, we are just to the south of, or the southern edge of Morency near the Ohio border. But yeah, I really like this truss bridge that's over here. But although it's not for the main road, but it's for like the the, the pedestrian sidewalk or, pa or pathway. But yeah, this is one beautiful truss bridge. This was built back in 1883. It was originally in Hillsdale County, but it was moved and set up here in 2004. And it is quite a beauty, I have to say. And as we speak, we can no longer call this a Michigan video because I just crossed the state line into Ohio. So, welcome to Ohio. <laughs> but we'll be going back into Michigan in a, in a minute. But yeah, it's pretty cool to walk across the state line because I remember doing this last year when I went to Fargo, North Dakota, where I briefly walked over into Minnesota. Or even when I did the same thing going from country to country a few years ago when I went to Austria, where I got to briefly cross over into Germany in that town called, called uh, Laufen, which is near like Oberndorf, which is to the north of Salzburg, Austria. <laughs> but yeah, it feels pretty interesting to be in a different state. But let's get back into Michigan. All right, so I found the place. This is Village Inn Restaurant. It is a place that's pretty popular here in Morency that's for breakfast and lunch. Doesn't look too crowded. I'm gonna he head inside and get something to eat really quick before we move on to the next town. All right, so. Man inside, nice little small interior in here. Nice little small family restaurant. 
Got a lot of great breakfast plates, and of course, different options for like burgers, sandwiches, or even some baskets too. Like, getting their fish and chips basket with cod, of course, some french fries, and I had some of the Scott Man classic or coleslaw earlier too. Yeah, this table is not very stable, so it's maybe a little shaky, but anyway. Hmm. Fries aren't too bad. The, the, these fries need ketchup, but they're nice and warm though, so I can't complain. And then fish looks really good too. Gotta dip in some tartar sauce. Wow, I don't know if the mom Yes. They're cooked very well. They're not they're not tough at all. They're not all that greasy either, so this is this is great fish. And best of all, this was only like seven dollars. For all of this food, that's a great deal. Oh yeah. Alright, um made back outside in the car. That was really good. I really enjoyed the fish. That that filled me up and again as I was saying inside it was very affordable. But yeah, but I really enjoyed getting to check out Morenci. Out of the three communities I'm gonna be checking out today, this is the largest one. So next I'm gonna be getting on the road. I'm gonna head west along the border with Michigan, Ohio over to Waldron next. <laughs> What's cool is that right now we are driving on the border of Michigan and Ohio. So Michigan is on our right and Ohio is on our left. So it's pretty cool how we're, again, yeah, we're on the state line right now. The turnoff for Walden Road should be coming up momentarily. Not this road, but it should be the next one. So almost there. And welcome to Waldron. But yeah, I'm just just, uh, just just got out of the car and walking around Waldron right now, and it is not very big at all. Just a little small village. Waldron was founded back in 1835 by Russell Coleman. It was originally called Canaan, but then it was later changed to South Right, and now it's called Waldron since 1877. It was named after Henry Waldron, and like Morency, although much smaller, Waldron is primarily an agricultural village. And that's it. <laughs> Not really a whole lot to Waldron, but yeah. It was cool to check out Waldron though. It, it is, after all, it is M Michigan's number one vacation destination. I know, I, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> you, you'd probably think I was nuts if I were to believe, if, if I were to actually think that. <laughs> but that's a nice little small agricultural vi village. We're about two miles north of the state line with Ohio. This is a second community that's right along the border with or Michigan and Ohio. But yeah, one more community we're gonna visit. And of course, don't forget at the end of the video, we're, we're gonna go to where three states meet up. But first, we're, we're gonna head over to Camden. Camden's gonna be another small village like this, but a little bit larger. Michigan countryside. I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of farmers out right now doing some harvesting. This is a common scene here in the southern part of the state of Michigan, especially close to the border with Ohio or even Indiana. Get all these, like all these different farms out here. It's it's really beautiful, especially on a sunny day like today.
and welcome to our third and final community we're checking out here in this video as we check out different communities close to the Michigan Ohio border this is Camden it was originally called Camden Center but it was re later renamed Camden it was named after Camden New York it was originally a little bit further to the north but they relocated to where it is now in 1870 about four miles away from the Michigan Ohio border Compared to Waldron, it's not that much larger, but it's a little larger, has a little larger of a downtown area. kind of like Waldron, not really a whole lot to Camden, although there are a couple of restaurants here too, which is really cool. And then off a block that way, there's even a little small park too. But the, the coolest thing about Camden though, is that it is the closest village to where Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana meet. And that's where we're heading over to next to conclude this video. But yeah, I'm on my way out of Camden now, and yeah, this is pretty cool. I drove by it earlier. I just had to come back and check out. It almost looked like an old gas station. My friends, we have come to a really cool feature here. We're walking over to where the states of Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana all meet up. And what's really cool is that back in 1977, the Hillsdale County Historical Society, which of course Hillsdale County, Michigan, they erected a, a stone about 130 feet north of the Tri-County border to commemorate where the Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio borders are located. The border is probably not necessarily exact to where it is, but it's basically they, it's the borders to where they came up to some type of a general agreement. And although with the Michigan, Ohio border, which is basically right behind me, there is a little bit of a, like a mini war between Michigan and Ohio back in the 19th century. I won't go to into it in detail or anything, but my good friend Mr. Beat, who produces a lot of great social studies and history videos on his YouTube channel, he has a video all about the Michigan-Ohio War. So it, it, definitely check that out. I'll put a link, a, link, a link somewhere up here or something. But yeah, this is the border of Michigan-Ohio right here. So now we're technically stepping into Ohio. And now, we're now crossing over to Indiana. So yeah, now we're in Indiana, and now we're back in Michigan again. <laughs> so if you see in the road right here, this M, this marks at least to where they agree to the actual tri-county border. So like where I'm standing right now, this is exactly the tri-county border. Indiana, Ohio, Michigan. To conclude this video, <laughs> this is really cool to be going to three states within like seconds of each other, if even that. But yeah, this is a very quiet row, so I don't have to worry too much about being in anybody's way. But yeah, I'll, I'll conclude this video here where Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio border each other. So we get to check out three different communities along the Michigan, Ohio border today. Like what, Morency, of course, would only be like a mile away from the border. And we also checked out Waldron and Camden, which are a little bit further from the border, but not by a whole lot. And then of course, come over here to conclude this video in Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio all at the same time. Yes, I am a geography nerd. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video here. 
as we went to some of the hidden areas of Michigan going off the beaten path here. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, uh, come along and join you for the adventure. And uh, don't forget to click that notification bell so that, that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching, and this is Scott, or the Scott Man, signing out here from Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana.